Hi YouTubers, welcome to my instructional video on how to solve a potential sound problem where your Atom by Presonus is plugged in and you're not getting any sound. Now I'm showing you my Atom on the opening screen so that you get an idea as to what it looks like when it's not fired up or connected with Studio One. When it's connected to Studio One, uh, and the Atom is in working order where you can actually tap it and get sounds from the keypad, it will look like this, where you can see the colors are displayed. So now let's go and take a look on how to solve the problem where you're not getting anything from your brand new Presonus Atom. And I'll show you why and one potential possibility. Okay, so let's go ahead and troubleshoot why you don't have any sound coming from your Atom keypad or Atom MIDI controller by Presonus. I'm only going to go through one illustration here as to why you may not have sound. As I've seen a few tutorials online, and none of them really discuss this. So in this example, it's pretty easy to solve this one particular reason why you're not getting any sound. Assuming you have Presonus Studio One open, and you've got a new track selected. If you've not, go ahead and create a new track right here. On the right, once you've chosen instruments in this panel here, you're going to go ahead and look for the Presonus subgroup. And I'm assuming at this point you've also downloaded um, the sound pack for your Atom MIDI controller. And I'll show you that in just a second. So go ahead and select Impact. And then you'll see below impact, you've uh, hopefully downloaded once again your Atom Fuel presets. Go ahead and take one of these presets. Let's just go with the first one because this will actually match up with other tutorials you might find on Atom by Presonus. Take this and drag it up to that track. And in this case, I'm going to load it fresh. You may not get this message, so just if you don't get this, that's fine. If you get this, that means there's something already in this track. Just go ahead and load it up. So impact loads, and you'll see the keypads here, which should ideally match up with your Atom MIDI controller. Now let's see why you don't have any sound. This is pretty simple to solve. In my case, I've got three MIDI controllers. I've got a Roland FP9, an Artoria Keylab 61 MK2 MIDI keyboard, 61 keys, and Atom. But know where the check marks is. The check mark is, excuse me. You want to make sure that this is on Atom. Now that's not the end of it. Look over here to the left where it says none. Make sure that in your case yours also says Atom. Once this and this show Atom, you should be good to go. Let's give it a test. Now I'm going to tap, that was with the mouse, I'm going to actually tap my Atom controller which in my case and hopefully in your case should now show all colored keypads. The top row should be purple, the bottom row should be multicolored red, yellow, blue as you saw in the opening of my tutorial. So let's tap the Atom keypad controller on C1 and we're good to go. Hopefully that solves your problem and have a good day.